Don't you wish you could make your Revit underground wiring and conduits to be a, like a dashed line type like you did in CAD? Well, actually you can. Follow along in this step-by-step -step video and I will show you exactly how to do that. Let's get right into it. So I'm here in my Revit 2023 residential tutorial project and I did a full series on this that you can watch on this channel. And I covered how to do all the wiring for this two-story house with a sunken living room and a site. It's got solar out here. We've got a transformer. And this gives you a little overview of what we have on the exterior. We also have some inside things we'll take a look at. We have a pad mount transformer that feeds underground to this little box. It's a meter base. And then from the box, it goes underground into the house to the panel. And we also have out here a solar field. And we can look at... There's a little disconnect switch on the wall here that feeds down underground over to the panel as well. And if we look at this in site plan view, overhead view, you can see our lines. We have actual conduits installed to the meter and into the panel and then from the disconnect into the panel. Now also on the site we have that light and it's fed and we've used Revit's built-in wiring for this. So we've got actual conduit, 3D conduits here and we've got just wiring symbols here. Now, my goal is to make these underground conduits and even any kind of wiring to be dashed or hidden line. If you've done a lot of work in CAD, you've probably used a dashed line type to do this. Well, how can we do that here in Revit? That's what we're going to cover. So we have two things to deal with, both the wiring and then also conduit work. The first thing I'll look at is how to deal with the wiring. If you click on wiring, there's no way to go in here and change the line type of the wiring to be some kind of dashed. So what we will do is use the power of filters to control the visibility. I've used filters before to turn things on and off. For example, my site work right now is on and all of the interior is off because of the filter I've applied. But we're gonna use a filter to also dash this wiring. So what we want to do is we need to have some kind of a flag in this wiring that tells the filter, that gives the filter something to look for. Now you can come in here and try to create some kind of data in this type, but you can also simply let the filter read what the type says. So for example, let's duplicate this THWN and let's just call this underground. I have an underground style. So if I make sure that this one is set to underground, which it is now, I can use that in my filter. So let's go into the filter. This has a view template. So we need to change it here and go to the override filters right here. And we need to add a new filter, but before we can add it to this view, to this template, we need to edit or create, create a new filter. So first we have to create a filter. Here's some other ones that are already made. So let's go to new filter. I'm gonna call this underground. And that's typically what I'm dashing. Now, some people will dash existing conduits. Some people will dash hidden in the wall conduits. So you can apply this however you do it. But for me, I just want to dash my underground wiring. So there. Now, what category am I going to look at? I'm going to look at just wiring. So let's go down to wires right there. I only need one rule. You can do an AND rule or an OR rule. It's the logic here. I'm just going to do a single rule. So wires, and what do I want to look at in the wires category? I can look at anything, any of these parameters I can look at. I'm going to look at the type name. I called it underground. Type name. Now if the type name, now here's the rule. If it equals to not equal is greater than, you can use all kinds of logic. So I'm going to say, either equals or I'm going to say even contains. Let's just say contains to make it more versatile. Underground. Now, if it contains underground, then it meets the rules of this filter. So this is the rule. The type name has to contain the word underground. Now that I've created that filter, I'm going to add it to this view. And in this case, this view template. There's my underground filter. So, okay, it's added. I want to enable the filter. This is an easy way to turn it on and off if I want to get rid of it quickly without removing it. The site one, I was making it not visible if it didn't say site. In this case, I do want it visible, but what I want to do is I want to override the line type. So you got lines, patterns, transparency. 
I want to override the lines. Right now, the pattern is just no override. It's whatever the pattern for wires is, which is solid. Let's go ahead and make that. Now, you have a dash, which is pretty much the line and the space are the same size. And then we have hidden, which has smaller gaps between the lines. So I'm going to use hidden eighth of an inch. Try that. Okay. 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 Automatically, that wiring turned to the hidden line type. So any wiring that I want, no matter where it is in this project, I can make it dashed to signify underground. Let's go to my first floor plan power. I have a kitchen area here, and I have an island in the middle of this kitchen. So in reality, these home runs are going to have to be under the floor at least, if not underground, but they're below grade. So what I want to do just for this home run is change this one piece of wiring to underground. Now what happened? It did not change. Why not? Well, the filter was applied to the site plan view template. So we need to apply that same filter. It's already made, but we need to apply it to this view as well. So under view template power plan, we're going to go into the filters and we're going to add that filter. It's already created, here it is. We're going to add the underground filter. And we also want to set its override. The filter is what selects the items. And then in each view, you can say, what do you want to do with that selection? So I could even have it have different size dashes in each of my view templates if I like. But I'm going to use the same type of look, hidden eighth. Okay, let's get that applied. Now we have the dash, and now we'll do this for this home run as well. Now that it's set up in this view, it's simply a matter of selecting it to underground. It doesn't change anything else. And let's make this one underground. So there, a simple way to get those underground. Now these guys would also be underground because this happens to be a counter that's not against the back wall. So again, I will do these and I can even select both of them with control, change them quickly to underground. And there we go. If you're getting some value out of this video, I'd sure appreciate you hitting that thumbs up like button down below. And if you want to see more electrical only content, hit that subscribe. I appreciate that. Back to the video. That was the first case, changing the wiring. Now I want to deal with some conduits. I could go in here and create a whole nother set of conduits that are underground and, and do something like that. But what I've decided is typically I want to dash the conduits that are physically below this level. This site plan was established on associate levels level one. So in my levels, this is at level one. And if you click on this one, it's at negative, middle elevation is negative seven feet. So it's below level one. So what I can do is create a filter for conduits based on the elevation of the conduit. So let's do that real quick. Go into our site plan view template. Let's go down to filters, create a new filter. We can call it underground conduits. So it's kind of a different and then what I want to check for is conduits. I don't need to worry about fittings because they're small and I don't even use fittings. But if I did, they were small. I'm not worried about those. But also this gives me more choices. I can go to conduits. I can look at where they are. So we can go down. We have length. We have diameters, things like that. Look, at here's upper end top elevation. So I can check the top elevation of my conduit. And if I can say is less than zero below my level that's what i want to check for so conduits that where the upper top elevation of the conduit is less than zero so it's below ground below grade and then i need to add this filter to this view and here we are underground conduits what do i want to do for those well same idea maybe i want to use the same kind of look hidden let's see what that looks like so i click that now look at that now these conduits are also in a hidden line type. So that's very visual that these are underground conduits. Now I run into one issue on a site plan and you would have this on a floor plan as well because if we look at a section, this conduit varies greatly in its elevation. I've based it on a level one, but this is a 
if you look at the 3D, you can see that you can probably tell with these grade lines that this upper parking area, this parking area is actually above. So it's higher. I've got conduits way down here, but I'm way up here. How can I get those to also be dashed? Again, here's my section. And let's get this to one we can see. Let's go to a section distribution. There. Comes out of the panel underground. We're fine, but then we rise up to get up to this upper level parking and all that. So I actually want all this conduit that's below what level? Let's see where the conduit is. This conduit ends up being at, oh, you know, seven feet. So in this case, for this site, I need to set my filter differently for a different level. And I may need to call this underground site because it has a different set of rules. For now, I'm good with underground condos, but if I need to change it in the future, I will. So I actually want to edit the filter itself. And conduits, I'm going to go as less than, let's say, eight. So it's less than eight feet. And that allows all these conduits to be shown. So that works for the site plan. Now, if I was back inside and I don't have conduits shown inside, I just have my wiring. But if I had some conduits shown inside, I, I may apply a different filter for purely level one. But that shows you how you can easily set up dash lines for your conduit and wiring to get the look you're looking for. And if you want to see how I modeled this conduit in three dimensions, take a look at the video that's up on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.